Five top banks have been fined a total of 392 million shillings for allowing NYS looters to channel stolen cash through their branches. In a statement in newsrooms, Central Bank Governor Patrick Njoroge said Standard Chartered, Equity, Cooperative uh, Kenya Commercial and Diamond Trust Banks had transacted 3.5 billion shillings. Now, Njoro uh, GE says police uh, will now target banks uh, officials who have abetted the wanton looting of public funds. Francis Gashuri with that report. Investigators probing the second phase of the National Youth Service scandal had cast the spotlight on key banks that were used as conduits in hiding the loot. Months of investigations by Central Bank of Kenya as a regulator, revealing a litany of anomalies, among them failure to report large cash transactions, failure to undertake adequate due diligence on their customers, lack of documents to confirm the large transactions, and lapses in reporting suspicious transactions. Five top banks, Standard Chartered, Equity, Kenya Commercial, Cooperative and Diamond Trust, being found culpable. A total of 3.57 billion shillings was channeled through these five financial institutions out of the 9 billion shillings that was allegedly looted in the second season of the NYS scandal. They will be required to pay a total of 392 million shillings in penalties for failing to adhere to regulations. Standard Chartered Bank, the major culprit, with 1.62 billion shillings of the NYS loot being transacted through accounts held by individuals and companies that traded with the institution. 886 million shillings, according to the CBK probe, was transacted through various branches of Equity Bank. At 639 million shillings, Kenya Commercial Bank was used to transmit the third largest chunk of the NYS loot, while Cooperative Bank was, according to the CBK investigations, used to transact up to 263 million shillings shillings in the scam. Diamond Trust Bank was used as a conduit to wire 162 million shillings. According to regulations announced by CBK in 2016, banks must flag out any transaction worth over a million shillings and above and require those depositing or withdrawing the money to declare the source and destination of the funds to curb instances of money laundering. And this is what the five banks failed to do according to CBK. And for their errors of omission and commission, the five banks have been slapped with penalties of between 56 million and 149 million shillings, depending on the frequency and magnitude of anomalies picked out in the CBK probe. But DTB and equity banks insist they were yet to receive communication on the penalties that had been imposed by CBK and would respond to the regulator's report within 14 days. KCB and Standard Chartered Banks, on the other hand, acknowledging receipt of the CBK communication on the fraud probe and would cooperate to resolve the issues that had been raised. CBK has given the five banks 14 days to submit reports on the measures they will institute to seal loopholes used by the NOS suspects to siphon public funds. But prosecution awaits individual bank managers and tellers who aided the multi-billion shillings transactions in the five banks. Director of Public Prosecutions Nuruddin Haji confirming that his office, together with the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, was narrowing down on the culprits. It's not necessarily the institution, as in banks. Uh, what we've seen mostly, it's uh, individuals within the banks uh, that are, of course, also enticed, like the individuals within the public service. Um, so let's not really blame uh, the banks. Uh, I think what, what, what we're going to do with the central bank is look at the loopholes that exist and see how best um, they can be closed. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.